In this beautiful little hamlet that we all know and love, called the Grash, a weird creature roams around. Not many people have seen it, but we went ahead and did our research to tell you everything there is to know about the Mashpodonculus. Okay, so it's been hours we've been searching for the Mashpodonculus creature. Uh, and we finally, finally saw it. It's right over there. Let's try not to scare it away. I oh, know, I think it's on. The Mashpodonculus likes to feed on these relatively rare green berries, most commonly known as Genevraia berries. It chews them right before feeding them to its newborn. Here you can observe the Mashpodonculus in its natural habitat, looking for something to eat. You can see it aggressively digging towards the tree, desperately looking for some food. Mashpodonculus droppings. Let's see when I squish them. What what did it eat? We can tell it's Mashpodonculus poop because it's so light and so small because they only nibble on tree bark. Podonculus, and we've managed to find it at last. It's making, seems like he's making a nest. And sometimes the particular thing about these creatures is when they uh, carry very heavy loads, they stand on their two back legs. Let's see if that's gonna happen. We'd be very lucky if it happens. Yes, indeed. I think the Marsh Podonculus just wiped his whole body on this tree. The smell! Don't you know the, the, the very distinct smell? This is the perfect example of what a Marsh Podonculus can do to the dirt. They just dig and dig and dig and... It's a good thing they don't live too close from the the city, because otherwise they would dig the roads. What a carnage! The mash pedonculus starts building its nest for its own survival. It must never forget that his number one enemy is never far away. but we're in the place where the marsh pedonculus had a fight or maybe it tried to climb the tree and it was too heavy maybe the tree broke we're not sure about that but it's it sure was around this area you should never underestimate the marsh pedonculus as it can cause great damage thanks to its strong and thin legs and dainty fingers it can cause great damage I'm showing you that we installed these cables to keep the Marsh Potonculus out of civilization. There's electricity in them, so when they walk on it, it zaps them with electricity. Oh, 
well. We've learned a lot about the mosh pedunculus today. Uh, it's been really fun and see you on the next episode. Goodbye.